Hey guys, it's Eric. We're gonna be checking out Got Seven. Got Got Seven. I'm gonna do it every time now. Not enough performance video. I know I reacted. I'm like behind, so I'm like reacting to stuff when it was released. But I reacted to this the second it dropped because I could not wait. And I just decided to react to this because I'm just like. I do what I want on this channel. I make my own rules, but yeah, so excited to be checking this out. I did get all seven versions of the Goss 7 album, um, and I showcased what I got on TikTok. Um, so if you want to see what I got, what all those albums were about, what's the difference between each version, go ahead and go check out my TikTok for that. Um, in love with them, in love with all seven. Um, and it's really cool because you get a member poster and a solo and whoever's like album poster it is. And then if you put them on the back and you open up all the posters, it makes like the Goss 7 logo and it says Goss 7. Yeah, I showcase it in my um, TikTok. But yeah, so excited for this. So we know Jackson Wayne. Oh, this is going to be a long intro. We know he's headlining. Headlining, head in the clouds. I'm not going. It's, it's like the weekend before I go see 17 in Dallas, so I can't financially afford it. But he's like headlining. Congratulations, sir. You deserve it. Um, I'm sure he'll put on a basic performance as a headliner, but it's all TikTok. This is just a rumor. Don't take this as fact. Um, but then someone just like, oh, what if Got Seven performs since Jackson Wing is headlining? And also, they did like a little promotional thing for 88 Rising Radio for this song. So, just a curious thought to put out there in the universe. I'm not saying it's fact, but I hope y'all bring y'all light sticks for Lee Jackson Wang's show. Um, so yeah, but also, even if there's not, Jay Park's also performing, and he is known to bring out artists from his labels to his festival performances or any type of live performance he does. So, I'm just saying, he might bring out a little JB or a little Yu-Gi-Oh! Or a whole God 7. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I would love for that to happen. I would cry so many tears. It'd be worse than post concert depression. But, like, what would be worse? post concert depression from 17? Or not seeing God 7 live when they were in the States? Um, but <laughs> either way, I'm so excited for this. Check out this choreography. Get a full good look at everything we are getting for this um, choreography. And the music video is gorgeous, too, as well. Uh, we love Gus Evans. We are, we are grosses here. Um, so, yeah. So, you know what it like, go. <gasps> Young J Center. Okay, I like the black outfits, girl, not gonna lie. I mean, they all look good, though. I've got a message, message. I guess you saw it if you went to homecoming, right? I love a Yugi of and Jin Young dance moment. Come, baby. Double B. It's a tense choreography. I like it, though. <laughs> Do you see a smile? I'm in love with him. I didn't get a photo card for every member. And one of Jackson. And he's my bias. Almost cry. I never get my bias in photo card. It's happened three times out of it's probably 60 or 70 albums I own. Choreography's really great though. Still a tense. Every single got some choreography is a tense. Wait, he got them out like that? You just got him out like that. I love this lighting here. I love the way that blue hits up. Curry's really great. I wonder who they how to do it. I just love him so much. Honestly. I love him so 
much. I'm gonna cry because I love it so much. I wonder if Oh the heart flies. Oh my god. Um I wonder if it kind of has like a vibe of some of like the Bam Bam solo stuff, especially when he's front and center. So I wonder if so, the choreographer who's done some Bam Bam stuff also worked on this. Um, just because it has similar vibes. I don't know though, but it, I like how this choreography kind of gives him a break. Because, man, those Got 7 choreographies, none of them are easy. None of them. None of them. Girl, name one. You can't. Um, just every single one of them since debut have always been really intense, pretty difficult. Um, but it's really, really nice. I love seeing it. I love seeing them dance together. They make me so happy. I have a smile on my face and tears in my eyes because I love them so much. So yes, and I, I, ugh, I love them so much. And I'm so happy that I got a photo card for every single member. You never know because it was like when I was opening in my last suit, I was just like, I don't know if I'm even getting Young Jay or Jackson. And I did. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, JB, I have the most for him. And I think that's intentional. I think he's doing it to me on purpose, honestly. Um, but yes, I would highly recommend the Got 7 physical album, like, it still blows my mind how much they put into this comeback. Like, full promotions, you know, full albums with so much, like, a part of the albums and the ch be doing their, like, comeback shows and all this other stuff. Like, I, it, it didn't even need to be that much of a comeback, but they made it that much of a comeback. And I love, I'm loving every single second of it, and I love them so, so much that it's gonna make me cry if I keep thinking about how much I love them, um, and hopefully I don't break my, <laughs> I'll get bombed, you know, because of just squeezing it, and you don't deserve that. You've been through so much with me. Um, still has the same batteries from 2018, so I don't know what's in those Korean batteries, but it's still going strong. I don't know how it hasn't died. I've used it in almost like every single GOT7 reaction and also like every, some, not every single solo member stuff, but most of their solo member stuff. So yes, but I hope at least bring y'all light stick for Jackson Wang's Magic Man experience, which his part for Coachella was absolutely insane. So he's going to do amazing headlining and I don't know if he'll bring out GOT7. I hope he, I think Panther Pack would be super sick for him to bring out too as well. Um, but yeah. Where you get got seven ahead of the clouds, or not got seven, Jackson Wing, my bad, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, so yeah, but I really enjoyed this. The choreography is really great, it's really nice. They kill the choreography, every single one of them. The sets were super duper dope. They look, they just also look so happy together, and it makes me so happy as well that they just, they love each other so much. Cause you know, the other adults have spoken out about it, that not every single group, they're not all friends. Not the case of Gossip and Girl. <laughs> you would not get the God 7 crackhead energy if they were not all friends. Or they didn't all love each other like that, so. But I loved it. Go to your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about God 7's Not Enough performance video. If you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or description down below. Or at the end screen, share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye. <laughs>